Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video is a makeup video. Oops. I have finally found some time today. I don't have any plans and I thought I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to try and just film a quick makeup video. It is winter so it's sometimes very hard to find nice natural light to film in. And today is quite nice actually. So I'm going to make the most of this continuous light. It's very homogenous. Can you see how I threw that word in there? So yeah, the lighting is quite nice. I'm going to make the most of making this video today. Okay, so I'm going to get started with my makeup. For primer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Urban Defense Complexion Primer. This is the one that has SPF in it. And I'm just using a pea size amount, very small. And just putting it on the areas that I sort of struggle with pores and that is mainly my nose area and then just this area between my cheeks um, and my nose. I'm very iffy of it like trusting products that has more than one thing concentrated into it so if it's like like a BB cream for instance like I don't like the fact that it's a moisturizer and supposed to be a cover. I don't know it's like I don't trust it. Like, what is your purpose? I would stick to the basics. I always just make sure that I have moisturizer and sunscreen on my skin before I start anything else. So something super duper exciting. Nadia and I have been working with Inglot South Africa on their newest foundation campaign. It's called BFF, Best Foundation Forever. Their concept is your foundation is like your best friend. If you find the perfect fit, you sort of always stick with it. Um, so that was like the whole idea around the campaign. It was so cool. Renata and I worked with Inglot on this entire campaign. Um, the crew was amazing. They just included us in everything. I mean, the photo shoots, the videos, and everything was so cool. Um, and then when we saw the images of the campaign up in the store, it was like crazy. We've never, we've never ever had that. We've never experienced that. And the fact that it's up in just like all the malls, it's so cool because you guys get to experience that with us. Like it's cool. It's really cool. I love it. I also did a blog post on my blog. I'll probably just put the link below so that you guys can read all about the campaign and just check out some behind the scenes images and what uh, the whole campaign is about and obviously about the foundations. The foundation that I'm going to use today is the Inglot HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation. So I'm in the shade 77 and I'm going to add a little bit of MAC Strobe Cream to that. This is the red one. I know they do uh, have another one. I like the finish that it gives with a matte foundation. Uh, I think I'm going to use a foundation brush. The strobe cream, I don't blend it into my skin or anything. I just apply it to the surface of my skin, just quite roughly. And I'm just going to apply my foundation over that. If you're pretty new to makeup, I would suggest you get a beauty blender. It's just the easiest way um, to blend out your foundation. Even if you are quite experienced, I still do recommend a beauty blender. I find that with a foundation brush, Sometimes you can leave brush strokes behind, especially with a matte foundation because it dries super quickly. So something that's going to give you that flawless finish is always a beauty blender. I just believe in it completely. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the color NC30. Um, and I'm going to use that to conceal and then also to highlight the center of my face. Okay, so I'm going to move on to doing my brows. I'm going to use the Benefit Cur Brow in the shade number 5. I used this for a while when it launched and I stopped using it and I switched back to pencil but I still love the pomade. It starts off like that. You open it up and you flip the brush around and you've already got an eyebrow brush. So you don't even have to go and purchase one, which is very smart, I think. Usually I would use a brow pencil to form my brows in, but today I'm gonna use the pomade and then use this little brush that comes with it. And I'm just gonna create hair-like strokes um, through my brows, so not form my entire brow in. And this is just how I've been doing my brows lately. And basically just to define it and make it look I'm in a 
So I'm not really filling them in, I'm just doing hair like brush strokes. So basically just going with the natural shape of my brow. And this for me just makes it look like your brows are much fuller. I need to set my brows, I'm just going to use a clear brow gel. This is the one by Inglot, it's the Inglot Brow Shaping Gel. I also use them, let me tell you something, I use them to keep my little baby hairs in place as well. So if I've got some baby hairs around my face and I'm going for like a super sleek look, I just use the spoolie and I sort of just run it over there and like move it into place. And it doesn't move the entire night and the entire day. I'm going to move on to contour. I would say I'm going to do very little contour and then I end up being like all chiseled. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. It's just a plain matte bronzer that looks like that. It's a very warm toned one. It's very nice to contour and then also warm up and add the finishing to your face. And then I'm going to blend just so that the bronzer blends into the rest of my makeup. And then for blush, I'm going to use the MAC Matte Blush in the color Mocha. I'm just going to pat it onto the apples and then blend it up into my contour. Okay, now for the really fun part. I'm going to apply some highlighter. I'm using the Inglot Sparkle Dust. So this is Inglot Sparkle Dust. It's super amazing. I've been using it for a few months now. The Inglot team introduced me to it. This is in the shade number two. This is more of a warm tone, which I like um, because when I do self tan, um, it complements it quite well. You can use it on your face, your body. This is like perfect if you're going on an island holiday, you want to sparkle in the sun and you pop some onto the shoulders and on your collarbone, wherever you want to shine I guess. So where am I? I feel like I've been sitting here for so long, what am I doing? Why am I here? I always feel like I lose track of what I'm supposed to do and I take forever to finish one look. One look. One damn look and it takes forever. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use my NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to apply that soft brown color to my crease. And then I'm going to add some of the darker brown into the outer corners of my eyes and then blend that into the center.
Okay, so basically what I'm doing is just building a nice warm brown toned eye. So I'm layering light browns on top of light browns and dark browns on top of that. So that you're layering the different colors so that you create a nice ombre shade um, without being too distinct. So always make sure that you're using a clean blending brush and blending them all together. So you're basically just blending the edges so that there aren't any harsh lines. So I feel like I want to darken the outer corners of my eyes a little bit more. So I'm going to go back in with that last shade that we used. For my lid color, I'm just going back in with the very first color that we used for the crease. I'm just going to use that on the lid as well. And then I'm just going to go back in with the blending brush and make sure that everything is blended together. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to use the exact same three shades that we use for the top lid. So we'll go the lightest brown on the inner corner, then we'll do the second brown in the center and the darkest brown on the outer corner. Okay, so that's it for eyeshadow. Top lid and bottom lid is exactly the same, only using three colors in the palette from the NYX, uh, I think it's Warm Neutrals palette, yeah. Actually, let me just put some highlight on the inner corner of my eye. So, so I'm gonna use the MAC Soft and Gentle for the inner corner because it's a lot softer than the sparkle dust that I use on my cheeks. And then I'm gonna add a little bit just underneath the brow bone. I'm going to move on to just popping some mascara onto my lower lashes. I do have lash extensions in so I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes just to make the eyes pop just even more. This mascara is waterproof. On your lower lashes it's always a good idea because if your eyes start to run, the mascara won't. So that's good. Okay, for lips, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Bed Rose Lip Liner. I haven't used these lip liners before, so let's see how they work. So I actually thought I wanted to put lipstick on top of a lip liner but I kind of like how the lip liner looks by itself. I think I'm just going to keep it as is. So I've overlined just a tad and sort of rounded my lips just a little bit more. This lip liner looks so good and it's super, super matte. It's sort of a bit sticky. So I think that if you were to drink water or just drink out of a glass, there would be a little bit of um, transfer, but I think that's fine because I really like the color. So this is literally just the lip liner. There isn't any lipstick on this. I thought I wanted to show you guys how cool the Smashbox liquid lipsticks are, but um, I actually really like this lip, so I'm not going to touch it any further. The only thing with um, filling your entire lip in with a lip pencil is to make sure that you cover 
every single part of your lips. So you don't want to leave little gaps in between. Also, if you are going out, keep this in your handbag. I will do a full breakdown of the makeup look and the products that I use in a separate blog post. I'll also leave little links so that you guys can shop that online. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon.